So today we're out here uh, in the chicken chicken run area. Um, I'm gonna start working on this chicken coop. There are a few changes I wanna make to it. Um, so we're gonna get into that today. Um, some things I wanna take off, some things I wanna add to it. I'll give you a little little run around here real quick and uh, we can go from there. So I'm hanging out with my ladies today, all my chickens. And uh, hopefully we don't have to lay down in too much too much chicken poop. So let's do a walk around real quick and I'll show you what we're gonna. Oh, there's, uh, there's Mr. Uh, Diablo, the rooster. All right, so on this, one thing is where the wheels are placed. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. So I kind of built it right in the middle and ideally I'd like to have the wheels a little bit further back and then it also sits really low to the ground. So when you're going over any kind of hills, you bottom out on either end really easily. So I'm gonna build basically a giant rectangle out of two by fours of uh, basically just like an axle that they can, that'll sit under here and the wheels will ride on that. And that way if I need to adjust it, I can slide it forward or backwards. Um, in doing that, I'm also gonna take, this is where the, um, where it normally rests. So it's in line with the, uh, the wheels here in line with those wheels right there um, so I'm actually gonna take that cut that off so it doesn't bind up when you're trying to go over hills and then I'm gonna take these uh, supports that normally have a bar across here and they're gonna run straight out and the bar should be a little bit lower when you pick it up it'll tilt the whole thing up and then the supports will come down off of these onto the ground it'll probably make a lot more sense once we get into it um, but as of right now I'm gonna go grab some tools and we're gonna get these wheels off and the bit of all thread that's holding them on and get these off and then the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in here I'm gonna run a bar. Let me grab you real quick. So in here, the chickens will roost on here at night. And so they'll either poop in the nesting boxes or out here. So I think I'm gonna cut off this support here because it's not really needed. They can roost on these. I got a couple eggs. And then I'm gonna put a bar either across here or right across up here so that when it's down, they can't roost up here because they can kind of squeeze themselves in between this area. And yeah, that'll be their new mobile coop. I'm gonna go through, I'll touch the fans. I'm gonna go through and make sure all the battens are good. Um, they've all been dried out. They're warping a bit, but you know, this is a good, good little coop. They seem to like it. So we're gonna get going on that. All right, so I got her tipped up. I'm gonna start taking off some stuff and then I'm gonna get a measurement on how wide I can make this, uh, this wheel base thing. I'll get the wheels unbolted along with the, um, what's it called? The all thread that's like acting as the axles. And uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully I don't crush any of my chickens or myself. But here we go.
All right, so I got everything taken off that I wanted to take off. Uh, I am gonna cut off these supports right here. And then I'm going to, I need to cut uh, two boards that go horizontally, um, that span the entire width of the uh, chicken coop. And then I'll cut some smaller boards. And so basically there'll be an, an extra frame that will go back here that I'll attach the wheels to. All right, so I got all my pieces cut out and this is gonna be the basic general shape of the, the frame. So I have to figure out how far I want this, these to go in. And it'll be the same way where the axle will be held in between here, bolted, and then uh, the wheel will go on the outside. I'll probably just space the wheel out a little bit more. You can see that. Uh, I'll probably just space the wheel out a little bit more, so I have to put a nut in here, so these can't quite be as far out as they were, which is fine. Um, I do have to go find a drill bit that can drill out this size, and then what I find is very helpful is to attach all these together, and then drill one hole through the whole thing. That way, everything's more or less lined up from side to side. If you get it a little bit off center, as long as you keep them oriented the same way, your axles will be very similar on each side and they'll be, uh, you know, aligned up between the two, between the two of them. So I'm going to get a drill so I can pre-drill these. I'll screw them in. I'm going to reuse the, uh, the old screws. I'll find a drill bit that's big enough for this. And then I'll come back and uh, put this all together and then we'll get it figure out how to get it mounted underneath uh, so I'm gonna drill these holes in the middle uh, so I already got just a test hole done just to make sure this fits and it does now I screw two of these together and I'm gonna continue the hole through here into this one and then I'll separate it and I'll use this top one to drill the hole in this one and in this one, and then that way the holes will always be in the same spot. Um, now I'll mark a little X, so that means that this is always going to be, you know, on the top. And it should always be in the same orientation. And then everything should be in line. Um, sorry if it's a bit windy on the mic. Um, can't quite control that. But, uh, Yeah, it got really, really windy out of all of a sudden, so hopefully my chicken coop doesn't blow over. So we'll see.
All right, you can see I got it mounted up here. Um, I got a little test fit of the axles. I did have to make a couple spacers um, to kick the wheels out past the ends of the um, the wood right there. So I got those made up. Um, I'm gonna finish snugging up. The, uh, the axles, kind of get them situated where I want them to, and then I'll probably cut off these little supports and then reattach the uh, the uh, arms where the uh, handle goes. So, kind of keep going on it. Might be a little too windy for you guys, so I'm gonna put you guys away for a minute. All right, sorry about that little tumble you guys took. Uh, I tried to get out here yesterday to do this project, and it was just kind of pouring rain all the way until I don't know, a bit after lunchtime. Uh, and then today, it's been super windy, so I just want to do a quick little video on on this kind of upkeep stuff. But as you can see, this is where I'm at right now. Um, spin you around. So, jeez. Great. Okay, so the wind just broke the entire top of the chicken coop. So, now I got more to do. So, I'm going to let you guys go for a bit and figure this out because they need a coop tonight. So, that's a major bummer, but. This is life on the homestead, I guess. All right, starting over. So, and I got the roof fixed. I just had to replace a board. I had to take off part of the, the roof, the, the actual white roof plastic. So I'm gonna get this roof put back in place, get the hinges put back on, and then I think we should be all right. And I won't be lifting that roof up today while it's still uh, raining. This just hasn't been my day. The camera falling over. Roof blowing off. It's been a million and one steps just trying to get the, the legs set up. Even making my lunch was all messed up. So I'll be happy when this project is over. Um, even though it's pretty simple, I do need to probably address the whole roof um, in the future. Um, I'm not sure if I like the way it works. Um, I might do some of the hoop ceilings. And this wind is just nonstop. But that's the way it is, so I'm gonna get this roof back on. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to film it just because I'm afraid you guys are gonna blow over again and I don't wanna risk messing up my camera. So I'll come back to you guys once I get the roof on and get everything set up. The roof's back on, so that's good. You can see, I'm gonna put these not quite as high as two center blocks when I get the feet put on. There'll be a bar that goes across and that'll allow us to maneuver up and over any kind of obstacle we need. Um, so this is that piece of wood I had to replace. It just ripped the whole thing right out. That's this side. I might need to 
mess with those batten strips. Um, but I think they're good to go. So I'm uh, I'm done. <laughs> Patience wise, uh, my back's kind of killing me. But I just want to thank you guys all for uh, for watching. So thank you and good night. <laughs>